Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to show you how to set a custom wallpaper on your digipad on the back screen of the home screen of the digipad. Now many of you may already know this how to set a custom wallpaper but in case you don't know and I saw that some people were still asking regarding how to set a custom wallpaper, a personal photo, a personal photograph or a picture of their own in order to put them on the digipad. So if you don't know that just make sure you watch this video and you follow the steps which I'm going to show you in order to set a custom wallpaper or your personal picture or a photograph on the digipad screen. So the first thing which you need to do in order to do that is get your picture or the photograph which you want to put as the wallpaper in a pen drive or the memory card of the digipad. So in this case I am going to put this from the memory card from this uh, sorry from a pen drive I have a Sony 32 GB pen drive here. So I have put some photographs in this which I am going to set as wallpaper in the digipad. So let's just get ahead. So first thing we need to, need to do is connect the pen drive to the digipad via the USB port. So I will just put the pen drive right here. So as you can see I am putting in the pen drive in the USB socket right down there. So once that is put in, so let's just wait for the digipad to detect the pen drive and once it detects the pen drive we can go ahead and install any custom wallpaper on the home screen of the digipad. So now as you can see the music is being taken over by the stock player because I inserted the pen drive right there. So let's just go back now. So the first thing which you need to do in order to install a custom wallpaper is to open the ES file manager. Now if you have not installed the ES file manager in your digipad, I'll leave, I'll leave a link right, right here on top of the screen. You can click on this link and get to find out how to install the ES file manager in your digipad. So once you have got ES file manager installed, so let's just open the ES file manager. Let me just click on the icon right there. So once the ES file manager opens, just click on the three dotted buttons right here on the left top corner of the application. So if you click this, uh, it will show you option called as home page. So just click on this home page button. So it will take you to the home screen of the ES file manager. If you are opening it for the first time, the ES file manager will automatically open in this particular home page. So once you have opened this home page, as you can see it is showing a option called as U disk right here in the below screen. So usually sometimes it may not show up this icon. So in case it does not show up, I'll show you another way to access the pen drive. But if it is showing as U disk or a USB disk right here, you can access the pen drive right here from the home screen of the digipad. In case it is not showing here, just go to the home page written here and uh, as you can see there is a white small arrow in the edge. So if you click on this arrow, it is going to ask you the source of which to display on the digipad. So there are particular sources like SD card, card, external SD card and the U disk which is the USB disk. So if you click on that small arrow, it is going to give you access to the pen drive and in case it is already showing it here, you don't need to click down there. So click on this U disk which is the USB disk which I have inserted and as you can see I have some pictures right here there are three pictures so I'll just take one I'll just select one of those pictures and I'll show you how to uh, set it as the wallpaper in your digipad so once you click on this it is going to give you a prompt asking if it has to be opened in a ES image browser or view picture or view drive you can go to the view picture option in the middle of the screen so once you click that, as you can see it is showing the, my custom wallpaper right here, my picture right here. So what you need to do in order to set this as a wallpaper is hit the menu button on the right side. And once you hit the menu button, it is going to give you an option called as set as. So once you click on the set as, it is going to ask uh, to set it as a contact icon or the wallpaper of the screen. So click on the wallpaper button and just just wait. So it is going to ask you to crop the wallpaper in case it does not uh, confirm to the size of the digipad so once you select it select the crop size so if you can select as you can see i'm selecting the size which i want so once you select this just click on the save button on the left edge of the screen so click once you click on the save button it is going to set that wallpaper on the digipad and now you can confirm by going back to the home screen and as you can see my wallpaper has been set and it is a custom wallpaper my personal picture or anything whichever you like so i'll just show that once again just open the es file manager and uh, once you have opened the ES file manager, just go to the U disk. And uh, if you have a picture of you which you want to show, which you want to show up in the digipad, just click on it and go to the view picture button. So once you go to the view picture button, so it is going to ask. Uh, you can click on the menu button right here and click on the set as. So once you click on set as, just click on the wallpaper option, and then it is going to ask you to crop the image in order to set onto the resolution of the digipad. 
so it is a bit slow the digipad is a bit slow in recognizing this so just make sure uh, you set it properly the set to the direct length and uh, breadth of the digipad so then click on the save button and wait for the image to get saved as a wallpaper so now i think it is saved just go to head home screen and as you can see the wallpaper has been set and in this way you can set any custom wallpaper any picture from where you, which you have downloaded from the internet or your personal photos anything you can set as your custom wallpaper on the digipad and it is going to it is going to stay there always until and unless you change it back to any other wallpaper so this is it guys this is how you change uh, the wallpaper background to your custom wallpaper in the digipad in case you didn't know and you found out this information to be useful make sure you subscribe to my channel and also like the video and of course comment below on how you uh, found out this feature to be and keep supporting me so that i can bring more and more interesting videos for you guys to enjoy so that's it guys have a lot of fun